Merry Thriftmas. Today we're going to take some stuff from my stash, Goodwill, and the free area at my dump. I'm going to give them a beautiful makeover for this 2024 Christmas season. Get your thrifting pants on because you're going to want to go out thrifting after you see these items with these repurposed and upcycled makeovers. Let's go. I was so ho, ho, ho happy to find this briefcase at my free area at my dump. We have a table, a big building. If you don't want something, the people come throw their trash and they put the stuff that isn't really trash in there and then you can come take it if it's something that you can use. So I picked up this briefcase. I've always wanted to do over a brief briefcase and the Christmas season is the best time. So I've been hanging on to this for a little while because I had an idea that I wanted to do for it. And so here it is. I cleaned up this briefcase and I got it all ready to paint. And I didn't do any sanding or anything because this paint that I have sticks to it. This is the DWIL wood paint. I know this isn't wood, but it's kind of leather pleather. Uh, but it stuck to it very well worked just fine i painted two coats of the cardamom green and i'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in this paint i really like it and then i took some gold rub and buff after sanding down the edges distressing it a little bit and added the gold rub and buff with a brush just back and forth the paper i'm going to use has gold tones so that is why i wanted to do that I got a little heavy in spots with the gold, so I just took a little light sandpaper and sanded over it to just lighten it up a little bit. I got this O Christmas tree IOD mold. It's brand new. Last year I picked it up and I never used it, but I want to use these corner uh, kind of garland edges and I'm going to use hot glue because I want to use it right away. I don't want to have to use clay on this because it takes too long and I want to get this painted and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Using the hot glue does not harm the mold and it works really quickly, dries quickly and just pops right out. And Because I didn't have to wait for that to dry I just set it right down and started painting. I went over it with the cardamom green again as the same as I did with the briefcase and just did one coat on the top of it. I'm going to add some paint to the back of my paper that I'm not gonna show you yet, evidently. I thought I did, but I guess not. Uh, so I'm just going to add a coat of paint on the back before I put this on to the briefcase. I wanted to do this because I wanted the colors to pop. They're a little bit dark and I want them to pop a little bit. And also um, I don't wanna put it on the briefcase because I want it I don't want it to show afterwards so I did it this way instead I'm going to add the Mod Podge to the top once the paint is dry on my paper and you're going to get a chance to see what it looks like and there it is it's a beautiful piece with lots of gold it's definitely an old world style Santa and an angel I love it so much I got this way back in the spring when I saw it because I wanted to make sure I remembered to do it. So this is from Zazzle, and I will have a link to Zazzle down in the description. I am an affiliate, so it'll be an affiliate link. No extra charge for you. Just wanted to let you know that. Um, and it's just beautiful, and you need to check out their papers. I like to use a baggie or a piece of plastic wrap to put on my hand to just kind of smooth it out. It's going to have some wrinkles. I'm okay with that, but I like to smooth it out, get some of the bubbles out and things like that. And it glides over a lot easier and doesn't tend to rip the paper when you use the, the plastic wrap. So then once I had it all the way I wanted it, I went around and gave it a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it in. And then I started adding in my corner pieces that I made with the glue. And we're going to add those to all four corners. I just used a little bit of hot glue on the back and that seemed to work just fine. Thank you. 
Now I'm going over the tops of the greenery with my Rub and Buff Gold. It's antique gold. And that gives it a nice touch oh, just over the top. And you can still see the green also. So it's kind of blending it in with the picture and all the gold that's in that as well. So to tone down some of the gold and also bring out some of the brown tones in the picture, I'm going to take some antique wax and I want to make this look antique. I want to make it look older just like the picture is. So I'm going over the little details that I put on the corners, the little garland greenery, and also over the whole case. I went all around. It's been painted uh, all the way around so I'm just going to go over the whole thing and just leave spots here and there of thicker antique wax and thinner antique wax it's just going to give it an old look Then to kind of add the icing on the cake, if you will, I want to add greenery to the top. So when it stands up, it has this beautiful, just this whole look to it. So I started with just two little pieces of pine bough, uh, and then I'm now putting in some cedar pieces, and I'm going to fill it in with those. going to add some gold glittered pine cones and then gonna move in with uh, some red berries uh, different kinds of greenery and white pearl type of things to bring out a little bit of the off-white that's in the picture I'm trying to make all the colors pop and give them a chance to be seen I had these little bells I put those together I thought those would look really cute and I also wanted to add a rusty touch. So I have these bells. I got two of the same size and one a little bit bigger. And I'm going to hang them down with some vintage ribbon that I have. And again, that's the lighter color. So I'm going to bring out the lighter color in the pictures a little bit. And just have those dangling off to the side. And I really love how this came out. You got to let me know if you what you think. I thrifted these skates from Goodwill not too long ago and wanted to change out the laces. These laces are pretty nasty looking and I wanted to try something more festive. I thought this twine that was the burgundy and brown twine would look good, but it's just really not much of a pop. So I had to just find something that had more of a pop and that looked really cool. So I already did one skate, so now I'm just gonna show you how I do it, and we'll do the other skate. And what I have is this Buffalo Check red and black wired ribbon, and it's two and a half inches wide, 30 feet long. I got this at Hobby Lobby, it's $5.99, but I think I got a discount, whatever their sale was, 40% off or whatever. Now what I'm gonna do is use this ribbon as the shoelaces. So I want to make sure I have it long enough so that I can weave it in and out. And once I'm done, I want to be able to do a bow and a tail. Now, if I don't have enough of the bow and the tail, I can always make one separately and put it on there. But the other one, I made it so it all hooked together. So that's what I want to do here. So I just get enough out so it looks like I have enough and I just cut it off. And then I start. So what I'm going to do is I just, now you could tape the end of it so that it goes in a little easier. But you just take the end with the wire and stick it through. It goes through. 
I'm going to try to get them about the same length-ish. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to go from the outside of the hole in. go and then what I'm going to try to do is open this up and fluff it up is what I do. I'll tighten it up just a little and then we just start. So I'm just going to take this one we start our way up to the side here. All right, so I got it all the way up and I only have enough for the tails left. So I'm just gonna tie this. Okay, so I just made a regular bow and I made some longer tails because I wanted them longer. I'm just gonna cut them so there's a little, nice little tip on there. And going to glue those on. I'm going to have to trim those a little bit more, I guess. They're a little long. But I'm just going to glue this on. So the next thing you want to do is find some fuzzy fabric. I have this. My sister gave me a big piece of fabric that was um, two-toned. So I had to cut this off from there. And what I'm gonna do is double it up. That way I make it look a little bit thicker. And I'm just going to run a bead of glue on the inside so it stays together. Try not to do it right on the edge. I'll line it up. Then we're gonna start on the inside. Run some glue in there. And with the I want it up higher. I want it to stick up over the I want it to stick up over this where it goes up. I'm gonna cover that up. So we're just gonna start on the inside a few inches. And the top is going to be the top that you just um, glued together. Because it's gonna be covered up with greenery. All right, and you just wanna go straight across. And try and keep it straight. You don't want it going down like this or anything like that. You want it to go straight across. This is going to give it a little cuff. Gonna take that end and go inside with it. Okay. Now don't worry about seeing this part because we're gonna put greenery in there. It's gonna cover it up. So what I'm gonna do here is glue these two ends together. Actually. And while we're waiting on that, I have some greenery that I took off from a garland and it went like this and I just bent it up just to make it look a little more full. 
and just took the little branches because they're wired and pop them up and kind of, you know, fluffed them just like you would on a tree or a wreath. And then what I do is open it up and I'm put your greenery down inside a little bit. Now you could glue this in if you want to. I'm not going to glue it in, but whatever I put on the greenery, I am going to glue to it so that it will stay on there and won't fall out. So you don't really see those edges, but you have a nice edge down here that you can see really well. So that's why we put the nice edge down here. Now I have a bunch of these little berries. So what I'm gonna do is just cut them like so. They're easier to put in, figure out where you want them if you trim them. And then I also have these long ones, which would work. You can pop those in there too. So I just use whatever I have in my stash. I just look in there and see what I've got and then I try and figure out where I want these things. So I'm gonna put that in there and I am gonna glue it because these are very light. If somebody wanted to hang these outside, the wind would take them and just blow them away. They're just made of styrofoam, so. So I'm gonna glue them at least to the greenery and that way I know they'll stay. Put that there. You add whatever your heart desires. There we go. So now we have some browns in there and some reds and lots of green. Now I have a pack of these little snowmen. They come in red and black in a container of four together. And I'm not sure if I got them at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. But I'm gonna take a skewer with the pointy end. They're styrofoam. And I'm gonna stick it up in there, little ways. And then I'm gonna figure out where I wanna cut that. And we're gonna stick that down in, hopefully. Stick that down in there and I'll just glue around the bottom to get that to stay in so it doesn't fall out. I wanted to quickly tell you guys about the Tozo NC3 noise canceling Bluetooth earbuds. These are great for pairing with your Apple or Android very easily. This little card here will have you go into whichever type of phone you have. Uh, you can go in and adjust settings and your noise canceling. Uh, things in there and there's just so many different things that you can do from that app so you may want to go in and grab that there's a quick manual a quick user guide to get you started using them and then there is a full guide on uh, how to use all the controls and everything really well so you're going to want to check that out too now these earbuds are water resistant from sweat or rain and they have a really great sound quality. I really like the value of them for the money. They work so well and the quality of the earbuds feel like they're a good quality and along with the sound, of course, that's the most important part and the way they work, work really well. The noise canceling feature improves the sound significantly and the charge lasts for hours on these. They have great battery life and recharge very quickly. 
I like that the front digital numbers tell me how the char how low the charge is, so there's no question as to when I should plug them in so that I can use them the next time on a full charge. They're easy to use, and that instruction manual, like I said, will help you set it up and help you know learn how to use your because each side, your right and your left side, you have to tap and hold and do different things to get it to work. But once you figure it out, it works great. They fit comfortably in my ear. And there are several interchangeable gel-like ear pads that you can change out. They're bigger and smaller. So you can find the right size just for you. You can also use them to take calls too. Just for good sound, the Tozo earbuds work really well. If you're looking for some for yourself or even for someone else as a gift possibly, they're really inexpensive and there's a great discount right now. I'll leave a link down in my description and make sure you click the coupon that's down underneath, limited time of course, and purchase those and I know you'll be happy with them. So this box was really cool from Goodwill. I paid $3 and I don't know, it was made from some kind of a, a peach box maybe or something like that. I don't know if this was uh, mass made or if this is something that somebody else did, but uh, I just love it. I love the leather handle and I wanted to make it Christmassy just by using some greenery, but I also think that you could change it out for any time of the year and keep it out all year long. And all you have to do is just change out the greenery. So I always keep wire that I use the heavy duty stuff that I can bend and use for candle rings. And so that's what I'm going to do with this today. I have some cedar and greenery, just plasticky greenery. I've used this in a lot of my Christmas decor. And I just use some florist wire and wrap the pieces. I pull them off and I wrap the pieces around to make it kind of a half ring. So it's not gonna be a whole one, but a half one, because it's gonna go around the back of the candle holder in the box. And I just fluff it out and make it look really nice. And then I just add a lighted candle. And this is a super simple, easy way to kind of fluff up some of your maybe already pieces that you have and you wanna make them more Christmassy or then change them out at the end of the season. I did add a little bit of a vintage lace and I think this came out really cute. Somebody left three of these bottles at the local dump here at the free area that we use and they had already done the hard work for me. They cut the bottom off so I can stick a candle in there or some lights or something. So I thought I would grab them and do something really cute with them. They had a little wire and some grapes hooked to the top. That's not going to go with what my theme is, which is Christmas. So we're going to take that off and we're going to grab a piece of this music paper and my IOD Candy Cane Lane transfers. They, I have these left over from last year. There's, there's a few left in here. And I was looking and I thought oh, there's a few of these that I would want to use on there. That truck one was really cute, but I really love the Santa one. So I think that's one that we're going to do here. And then I'm going to do one with a candy cane. Like I said, I got three. I did one before this that had a smaller Santa head on it. And I will show you that in the final pictures. So I'm just figuring out which one I want. Just so you know, it's going to be the Santa. And we're going to get him cut out and we're going to figure out where we want him on the music note paper because that's what we're going to stick him to. You could skip the music note paper and put it right on the wine bottle, but I thought that it would look really nice and pop really good put on the paper. So we're going to do that. So I tore it down all around for the size that I wanted 
and I just wanted a, a an organic look to it and no straight edges as much as possible anyway. And I'm just going to use my stick to rub that transfer on there. And that goes on by just the heat and the friction of you uh, going back and forth on that. And these work so well and just go on so nicely. Then I'm just going to burnish that on there, which means I'm just going to rub over it and make sure that all the edges and everything is down. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add some Mod Podge to the back of my paper. I want to add it to the paper and not the bottle so that I don't have excess Mod Podge all over the bottle. So I'm just going to lay that on there where I think it's going to look good and make sure all my edges are down. And then I will go over that with more Mod Podge and seal it in. Careful to go around the edges and make sure that everything is sealed down nicely. Once my Mod Podge dried, I went over the edges with some antique wax, just a light bit of it, and just wanted to make it look vintage, like an old label. And then I wiped it back and gave it a good old look. And then I'm going to take a piece of this old spring that I had. It's a broken one, but it fits nicely over the top of the bottle. So I'm going to stick that on there and then take some of this greenery that I have and put that. I think it was a napkin ring originally, but I cut the ring off and I just stuck that down in the top of the bottle and then added a rusty star to it. And that's pretty much all I did to this wine bottle. I'm also going to decorate another wine bottle with the candy canes. So I'm going to do basically the same process, decorate it just a little bit different, and I'll show you what I do. If you're enjoying my projects today, if you are and you want to follow along with more projects that I'll have coming soon, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button if you are enjoying what you see. And if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, that'll tell YouTube to let you know anytime I have an upload. I'm adding some rusty wire around the bottle, just wrapping it around and around. I did have to use a little bit of hot glue in the back just to hold it steady. I took some red and white twine, a little piece that I had in my stash, and added that to the neck of the bottle along with a little bit of that cedar greenery added some rusty bells on a safety pin and then added a little red berry and some tea light battery candles to put underneath to light it up and this came out so cute go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. I thrifted two of these candy cane little decor pieces, and I thought they would make great like door hangers or to hang on the wall. So I'm going to take some of this coffee stained material. I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I cut it down into oh, probably two or three inch strips. I ripped them, tore them down. And I'm going to wrap them around these candy canes to give them a more of a candy cane look, I think. I started at one of the bottoms and made sure that I left enough material so that it would overlap the bottom and cover up the wood uh, down around the edges. Then I just started wrapping the material around until I had the candy cane all covered completely.
each time I got to the edges or the ends of the candy canes, I made sure that I had a little bit of material left over. So again, I could wrap it down around and cover up those edges. I just used a little bit of hot glue and made sure that those were all down nicely. I then grabbed um, one of my garlands and cut off a piece to add to the front and in the middle and I'm just taking some florist wire and going to attach that so it's nice and firmly attached. I then am going to take some of my cedar greenery. It's a little bit of a different color. It stands up a little more, a different shape, and I want to just add some variety to my greenery. So I'm just going to tuck little pieces of them in and out in different places. I then start adding the color to the top and I had this, they call it an ornament piece and I think this came from, what is it called, Christmas tree shop. And so I just took the tag off and added some florist wire and I'm going to add that to the front on top of the greenery. Then I'm going to take some more red berries, I want some more red in this and cover up some of that greenery and I'm just tucking them in here and there to get the red to pop. I then decided I was gonna make a tag once I got it full enough with the different greenery and berries that I had. So I printed off this candy cane, uh, these candy cane tags that I used for my peppermint stacks that I made a while back. And I will leave the link down in the description for that. It was off Etsy. And so I just cut it down to where I wanted it and grabbed one of these little wooden tags that I had. And I'm just going to Mod Podge it to the front. Once I have it all Mod Podged down, I will seal the top with more Mod Podge. And then once that dries, I'm going to take a little antique wax and go over the front and back of the tag to give it some distressed look. And then I'll just wipe it back and add a string and this will be all done. And I made two of these, so you'll see both of them in the end pictures. What we're gonna do? I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. I just want to hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Let's till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend I hope you enjoyed my projects today. If you did, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. Don't forget to share with a friend. Somebody might really enjoy one of these or all of these projects. Check that link down below for those earbuds. They work really well. Make sure you check out this next video on your screen. I know you're going to love it. Thanks for hanging out with me today and have a great day.